Welcome everyone to Hillcrest Connects, where we briefly want to share with you what it means to meet together as we catch a glimpse of what God is doing in and through our congregation. Today we have with us Cindy DeRosa. She's our pastor of children and families here at Hillcrest Church. Welcome, Cindy. Hi. COVID-19 has been around for a little while now. Can you share with us how it's affected your family? Well, uh, I've really enjoyed having my family home around me since uh, covid uh, came upon us. My daughter was uh, home from Calgary. Her job uh, was shut down. So um, I've had some time to spend with them. I actually had a sore throat on the first day of, like on March March 15th. And so I self-isolated. I stayed at home for, for two weeks and I never got sick or anything, but um, it was, I, I just got to work from home and spend time with my kids and uh, dogs and just, it was all right at the beginning. Um, so tell us a little bit how it's affected your work. In the middle of March, we, everything was, was stopped. We couldn't uh, meet together. So uh, we stopped doing Glow Girls for a week. And then I heard about Zoom and said, I'm just going to try this out. So uh, we had about 16 girls gather on Zoom for Glow Girls on the uh, 29th of March, and uh, some leaders joined us, and we started having a lot of fun. And uh, we've been able to do Discover Gang Sunday mornings using our videos. Uh, the curriculum has provided them free, so we can uh, we post them on the website, so kids can still enjoy the so-and-so show, which they really love, on Sunday mornings. So share with us some of your successes and some of the challenges you faced. It has been hard not being able to see the kids and worrying about, you know, how are they doing? Are they connecting? Um, I've talked with some of the parents and families on the phone or uh, by email and text. Uh, I was able to help a few kids get online with their, with their schoolwork, um, just kind of gave them some direction on how to, how to get that going. Um, I've seen some kids just going to their house, like for a birthday drive-by, or um, just just to say, say hi from outside. And one of the things that we did to uh, to connect with kids and to just be part of uh, the big picture is uh, Kristen and I went around and took videos of kids who uh, who volunteered to make a sign saying thank you to some of our essential workers. We let them choose whatever workers they wanted to put on their poster. And so we had the, the fun time of being able to see families. And we put together a video called Thank You. And uh, I think it's going to be up on our website for you to watch. How about challenges? It has been a little bit challenging trying to uh, work on Zoom with uh, 20 girls and uh, figuring out how to, how to um, let them use the whiteboard to play Pictionary, but not use the whiteboard in the middle of the Bible story. So uh, we've, we've had a lot of fun doing that. Um, but a really cool thing that happened last night was uh, we had show and share. So everybody could bring something and, and talk about uh, what was special uh, about it. And then um, at the end, one of the girls went uh, running to, uh, out of the screen and came running back and said, hey, everybody, go and look out the window. There's a rainbow. So we all took off, and we're looking at the rainbow. And um, we came back, and I said, God just joined our show and share. He wanted to show us how much he loves us. And then they talked about what a rainbow means. And it was just so incredible, the timing. And I just felt like God was joining in with us. So you have some material. Do you want to show us some stuff? Do you want to share? Well, we uh, haven't been able to to see the kids and give them their usual activities. So uh, Kristen and I have made up activity bags. Uh, we did this at Easter, and we're doing it again for the month of May. So Wonder World has all of their crafts that they would usually be doing in um, on Sunday morning, and of course a little bit of a snack. And uh, Discover Gang, we have some activities for kids to, to participate in. Uh, just something different, of course, a little treat. And those are available outside the church office during, um, during office hours throughout the month of May. And we'd love to just be able to bring something, something different and uh, give you a reason to go out of the house and drive by and say hi. 
So Cindy, share with us what God's been teaching you and what you've learned through this process and, and share with us uh, maybe a word of encouragement. Well, we like to, as humans, we like to be in control. We like to have control over uh, the circumstances of our lives. And when we come to a situation where it we don't have control, it's actually a glimpse of reality because we we don't really have control. We just, um, especially in our culture, we have doctors and um, we have jobs and we have the government. We have all kinds of things that we depend on. So when there's a problem, we have a lot of resources to turn to. And the the reality is we just really need to depend on God to um, to be in control. So a situation like this puts everybody on the same level. We all have to realize that we're not the ones who can call the shots. And um, it's refreshing to be forced to trust God and to, to just look to Him and know that I really don't know what's going to happen today, but God does. And I can listen for His voice, and I can do what he asks me to do, and he's going to do amazing things. I've had, um, I've seen so many answers to prayer, uh, just with with little details of things. Um, one of them, actually, Mike, was your dog ate something, some hard plastic, and I was praying that she wouldn't get sick, and um, and things like that. But but big answers to prayer, like provision of money. Um, uh, provision of a computer for someone who needed it. There have just been so many ways that uh, aren't natural that um, that God has shown up and shown that He is taking care of us. Yeah, thanks, Cindy. Thanks for sharing with us. That was really nice. You're welcome. It was good to be here. And thank you for joining with us today. To stay connected with us, sign up on Realm, follow us on our social media sites, or visit us at hillcrestchurch.net.